I get clients? How do I get them to come? Show me the money. If you want to make the coins, keep watching. What's up y'all, it's Leanne Henry and I'm back with another video. So this is the fourth video in our RE behind the scenes series. We are talking about all the things that happen behind the scenes in real estate that really slip through the cracks and we're filling in the gap of what really goes on but people don't talk about it often enough but it all is important in you becoming a successful real estate agent. So if you've been watching the series all the way up to this point, drop a comment below. I wanna thank you for your support and watching so far. Has it been helpful for you? Have you been getting some gems to really help to transform your mind and the way that you think about your business? Let me know. So in this video, we are chatting about marketing ourselves. So, so far we've talked about how much does it really cost to be a real estate agent? How do I build my confidence as a real estate agent? How do I network as a real estate agent? And now we're going to talk about how the heck do I market myself? How do I get clients? How do I get them to come? Show me the money. I'm not going to say I'm a marketing guru because I'm not right but i think i have some stuff figured out you know you don't get twenty thousand subscribers and almost forty thousand followers on instagram by happenstance okay you have to have done something right to attract all these people to you so i think that by that alone it earns me a little bit of credibility you know, for me, I have been trying to figure out like really what's the sauce? Like what have I done for real, for real that's allowed me to be so successful in marketing myself online, right? I think what that truly boils down to is me wanting to be my authentic self. So if you've been watching this series so far, I touched on, you know, me wanting to be my authentic self in a couple of videos prior and just making sure that every space that I show up in, I'm being my truest self. That's number one. But number two, I want to just provide value. How can I provide value to the people that I'm talking to, the spaces that I show up in, the places that I go, the clients that I have? What am I doing to make their lives easier, to give them some sort of additional value amongst whatever it is that they're doing that day, that month, that year? Truly, how can I help you? And I think people have gravitated to that, especially online. A lot of the videos that I have that have gotten over a million views, those being um, TikToks and like Instagram Reels, were videos where I was really just dropping some gems, right? Like I was dropping homebuyer gems or I was uh, stating a fact in a funny way, but it was still a fact nonetheless. When thinking about posting on social media why are you posting whatever this piece of media is is there any particular reason is there any particular audience that you're hoping to reach i think that if you truly just want to show up in the world as your authentic self and providing as much value as you can then everything else really comes easy because the internet is fake right hate to break it to you if you didn't know already the internet is fake. So a lot of the times what people are posting is just the 1% highlight reel of the 100% of their life that they live on their own. So when people are comparing themselves or they're feeling bad about themselves because they don't have what they've seen somebody else have online, you don't even know if they actually have those things. Or even people who are constantly posting about showing homes or having closings or whatever the case may be, none of what somebody else does should have the power to truly affect you on such a really basic emotional level. And I think the quicker that you take a lot of that out of it, it's gonna be a lot easier to market yourself as well because you're not gonna be so caught up with keeping up with the Joneses, you just wanna be the best version of yourself in marketing yourself. For me personally, I think it's really, really important to make sure that you're being intentional in the audience that you're trying to reach. Take the time to really sit down and make an avatar of who your ideal client is. And what do they look like? 
What's their age? What are their hobbies? What are the things that really excite them? And when you're posting, think about targeting that specific audience. That really is what marketing is at the very basis. How are you making people feel when they see your content? Are they motivated to learn more? Are they motivated to click or to purchase or whatever the, the intended action for them is? How are you driving them to do that thing? My social media strategy is not just showing up as my authentic self, but I'm also very intentional in, in the way that I, I create things. When I'm making um, you know, Instagram reels, for example, I want it to be either something that has some sort of comedic factor to it or something that truly is going to be helpful and beneficial and it's gonna lead to a number of people sharing it organically. I don't have to ask or request that somebody share it. It's just that good of a piece of content that people just share it outright on their own, right? Or when I'm creating some sort of post on Instagram. So I'm trying to do better and I'm gonna be fully honest and transparent with y'all because that's what we do around here, okay? I'm trying to do better at actually planning my content in advance. I haven't been that good with it, y'all. I'm gonna be honest. But what I am good at doing is creating engaging posts. So when I do think about like, oh shoot, it's been a minute, I should probably post something on Instagram, I am really thinking about the picture that I'm selecting and the caption that I'm gonna put along with that picture. So I personally have decided not to post a bunch of house stuff on my actual timeline. That's what y'all got the MLS and Zillow and Trulia and all that other stuff for. My page doesn't need to be the MLS because that, that stands on its own. Instead, what I've decided to do is to really showcase who I am as a person. I love homes, I love travel, I love fashion, and I love reminding you that you are pure gold. Like it really is that simple. So when I'm making posts, in what ways does it tie into those things that I love? Am I talking about how I just had a really crazy day of showings in the caption? Either way, I'm reminding people always that I am a realtor and I'm here to service you. So a lot of the business that I get comes primarily from referrals and social media. So even though I, I don't post a ton about houses or property walkthroughs, which I do wanna get back to, I will say that, because I'm constantly tying in something about the fact that I'm a realtor in my captions, it's keeping top of mind for people who are reading it like, this is Leanne, she's a real estate agent, she sells houses. If I was to ever have a need for a realtor, I want it to be Leanne. Right? How are you really getting who you are across to be able to walk through the largest transactions of their life with you? <laughs> so marketing yourself online is gonna be a really, really important thing. Some people say that you don't really need social media, you don't really need to be on the internet. You know, I, I know plenty of agents who do 40, 50, 60 million dollars a year or more in closed sales volume and they are barely on social media, right? But those are also people who have been in the business for decades and they already have their databases built out and they already have their systems in place and they, they pretty much work on referrals at this point. It's a well-oiled machine. But for those of us who don't have that luxury, I think social media is an incredibly powerful tool and I wouldn't skip it if I were you. You're gonna do what you wanna do, and I ain't mad at you, but I wouldn't skip it if I were you, okay? <laughs> Aside from marketing yourself on social media, you also wanna make sure that you're marketing yourself in real life. So when you're talking to people and they ask you for your business card, what do your business cards look like? You know, are they the flimsy kind that, you know, you pay $30 for 500 of them and it's just, you're trying to basically give them away because you have so many of them? Or is it a really good thick cardstock kind of paper? The texture is nice. There's different, like it's pressed or whatever the case may be. You know, that's gonna speak for you long after you've walked away. What does your headshot look like? Do you have a good real estate headshot? Or is it something from 15 years ago and you don't even look like that anymore? You should probably stay up to date with your headshots, okay? Schedule a photographer to do some quick and easy lifestyle shots for you. A really great headshot goes a very, very long 
way. How are you dressing when you go to different real estate related events? Are you just kind of just looking like you rolled out of bed or are you really putting yourself together? You know, for the guys, do you have a, a fresh lineup or is your beard looking the way that it needs to? Or are your fingernails clean? Like all of those things very much matter. Is your car clean? I don't know about you, but I judge people if their car is extremely dirty. Like every time I see the cars, it looks like they've been off road and I'm like, where, where you been? Like, what are you, what are you doing? You, you want to pull up to this house looking like that? They don't think that you're not making enough money to even take care of anything. You know, like people want to know that their real estate agent is doing all right. They're closing some houses, closing some deals, and they're taking care of themselves very well. All of that goes into personal image, public perception. It all ties together into how to market yourself and your marketing strategy. Now, there are a number of ways that people choose to market themselves, both free and actually paid. So I'm sure you've seen the real estate agents who have billboards all over the place or um, uh, ad banners online or the lady that pops up at the beginning of almost all of my YouTube videos. <laughs> That lady getting coins, she getting money right off of me. And I just want a little bit of a cut, just a little bit. I mean, I get, I obviously I get a little bit of a cut from Google AdSense, but it's, I'm sure it's not as much as sis is making, but shout out to her. Some people will choose to sponsor the jerseys of a local little league team or some sort of elementary school, something, maybe the bake sale or d just different ways to really kind of put your name out there. I know a real estate agent who she focuses solely on divorcees, right? Or divorcees, whatever is the correct pronunciation of that. But people who are going through a divorce, that's what she focuses on. Because when you're going through a divorce, what do you usually have to do? Split up your assets. What's considered an asset? Your house. And who's gonna help you sell it? a real estate agent so in marketing yourself you really have to figure out you know what areas are you going to focus on so there's so many different ways that you can market yourself and find your niche and we're going to talk a little bit more in detail about that in the next video but before that happens i really need you guys to like comment and subscribe it helps me so so much it wakes up the youtube algorithm and all of that jazz and one i just like talking to you guys in the comments in the meantime in between time i do want to remind you that you yes you are pure gold and i will see you in the next one bye guys